These are popped lotus seeds, commonly called as full makana. Spicy makana video is already in our channel. Link is in the description box below. Today, let's see a sweet makana recipe using much nutritious palm jaggery. First, let's check out the ingredients. Two heaped cups of full makana, which weighed 40 grams. Here, I have just taken one cup to show you how heaped it is. Take two heaped cups just like this. Palm jaggery, quarter cup. Do not tightly pack the cup, just take it loosely packed. This weighs 40 grams, that is equal to the weight of makana. Do not be tempted to add more palm jaggery than specified, as thin coating tastes good. Ghee, 1 tablespoon, that is 20 grams. Ghee tastes better than oil in this recipe. A generous pinch of dry ginger powder or cardamom powder. Palm jaggery can be replaced by normal cane jaggery. In North India, the sweet is very famous. They use cane jaggery and call it as gur makana. But try to use palm jaggery as it is more nutritious than cane jaggery. Also, this tastes good in this recipe. First, spread the popped lotus seeds in a plate and look for thick black skin that are stuck to few seeds. The skin will be so thick and if the babies bite it, it would be so hard on their teeth. So carefully remove all the bits that are stuck to the seeds. To a thick pan, add 1 tablespoon ghee. This is equal to 20 grams. If you want to reduce ghee, you can use 10 grams to 15 grams. But don't reduce below that. Now add 2 heaped cups of makana. Let the stove be in sim. Stir continuously for 8 to 10 minutes. We add more ghee in this recipe to fry makana more crispier. When a sweet outer coating is added, more crispier makana doesn't stick to the teeth. Generally, full makana is very less in calories and so this is recommended for weight loss. But for babies, we need weight gain. The extra calories supplied by ghee will compensate that. So don't you worry. Full makana by itself is so nutritious. Palm jaggery is added to this recipe to make it more nutritious. Keep stirring for even roasting. 9 minutes over. Check if it is roasted well. Small seeds would have been roasted sooner. So take a big seed and check for crispness. It should be super crispy till the end. It should not be chewy at all. Also, it should not stick to the teeth. If it is not so crunchy or if it sticks to the teeth, then fry for some more time. When it's absolutely super crunchy, then immediately transfer it to a plate. Leaving it longer in the pan might burn the seeds. In a saucepan, take quarter cup palm jaggery which weighs 40 grams. Do not add palm jaggery to the pan in which we just fried makana as the pan will be too hot to burn the jaggery. Add half of quarter cup that is 1 by 8 cup water. Add a generous pinch of dry ginger powder or cardamom powder. Let the stove be in medium heat. Once the syrup is frothy, simmer the stove and break the lumps with the back of a ladle to fasten the process. Palm jaggery is now completely dissolved without any bits. Before the syrup reaches next consistency, let's filter it out to another pan. The sand and sticks found in palm jaggery are now strained. Let the stove be in sim. The syrup is well frothy. If you touch a drop and stretch it between your fingers, a thin string-like structure forms quickly and also easily breaks. This is called half string consistency. This is the right consistency we need. Without further delay, add the roasted lotus seeds and stir well. Switch off the stove now. Mix well so that the syrup coats every single seed. This has to be done as quick as possible before the syrup hardens. There is no excess syrup in the bottom. All the syrup are coated well on all the seeds. Immediately transfer this to a plate. 
spread well on the plate and remove the seeds stuck to the ladle. Let this cool down for 5 minutes. 5 minutes over, when it is still warm, separate the seeds using ghee greased hands. Ghee greasing is recommended as the seeds will now be sticky. Do this once it is still warm. If it is cooled down completely, the clusters would be hardened and it won't be easy to separate as this. Once the seeds are separated, allow it to cool down completely. It is now cooled down completely. The sound clearly tells you how crisp this would be. You will get the perfect crispness only when it cools down to room temperature. If you taste it when it is still warm, it would slightly be chewy. Once it is cool and crispy, transfer it to an airtight container. I really don't know the shelf life of this as my kids will finish it off on the same day. But better eat within 2 days as it might become chewy when exposed to air often. This can be given to babies after their first birthday. As the round shape might cause choking, it is better to cut it into two and give it to babies. Give this to babies only when they are crispy. Avoid giving chewy ones as they will be hard to bite as well as stick to their teeth. Hear the cutting sound to know how crisp this is. Time to taste. Protein in lotus seeds and iron in palm jaggery makes it a nutritious snack for babies and kids. Do try and comment below how you and your babies enjoyed this yummy and crunchy snack. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.